What's going on, y'all? I know it's been a minute. This time, it was kind of bad situation. Y'all know what happened in Eastern Kentucky, and I got a phone call. We pretty much about got washed out. You've seen from this intro, like, this was just our fairgrounds. I've got a bunch of the flood footage and everything that happened in between, and I don't know if I want to relive it. I don't know if I want to make the people of this area relive it. We've decided to focus more on the rebuilding, the starting over, try to take our area from something more. That's why I'm down here with Donnie, helping him clean up the fire grounds, which he's been using for a motocross track. He's been having some pretty good events here, and me and him's talked. He's gonna find out what he can do, so if we can make this place a little bigger. That way we can host bigger events. I'll let him talk to you. What's up out there? What to say about this? I don't know if uh, Sean's give you the 411 on what we got going on down here. I'm sure he is, but we're about to rebuild this place, man. It took a hard hit. Eastern Kentucky took a hard hit. We'll pull through this thing. We're not gonna stop until we're better than what we was. You can bank on that. We're going to be, uh, we'll be back on top again. And what we do down here with the races down here a lot of times, we just like to bring people together you know what i mean we like to be here part of a bigger thing i like to be i like to say i'm a part of a bigger thing than what i am i like to be out here in the middle of this stuff i like to make all these little kids have a, a place to go and without a place to go it's going to be a bad bad situation let's make some eastern kentucky strong we're going to rebuild this stuff and we plan on like we're going to help some flood victims and stuff out with this these couple races we got coming up we're going to see if we can help out a few families and just help some people and just get them back to where they feel normal again that's what we all need to do right now in Eastern Kentucky, is just feel normal again, in my opinion. I think what this is, is nothing more than just a, a test of how our resi a resiliency we have, what kind of resiliency we really do have. And I think Eastern Kentucky has always been dealt a bunch of hard blows. So this is just another one of those hard blows and we'll work through it. It's gonna be wild. You can see my background here, look at the flood. It was wild, absolutely wild. I'm telling you right now, guys and gals, this is gonna be, uh, when, we, when we rebuild this thing, it's gonna be something to behold. I can, you can bank on that. It's gonna be very fun for everybody. Hope everybody can just come out and support us. You ain't got a race to support us, guys. You can come out and just watch some really good racing. Watch these little kids, guys and gals, and everybody, older men. We still ride too. Old guys that ride. Very open, very emotional down here because this is what got a lot of these young kids in Letcher County. This little, this little, this little track right here, this little rodeo rink is what I'm standing in. It's what they used it for before we made it a motocross track into. Super excited to have Sean on board, man. He's really good at what he does. Uh, he, he can tell you the story better than I can. Wait and see. It's about to happen. It's almost there, man. This is the waste. With all those kids right there, they ready to ride, man. They ready to get it, man. They live for this. This is all they got. When they lost it, they came out here to work to get it back. We'd love to have y'all support. Hopefully, Donnie's gonna be able to hold a race 
next Saturday and Sunday. So I guess you're gonna try to have a race, ain't you? Oh yeah, next weekend, be here or be square. Oh, was it that bad? Did Sissy give you a hug? I caught you. What Sissy manner? Oh. Oh, so sweet. So sweet. Oh. What we got going on over here? I'm trying to find two matching top box But I guess that we're just going to have to use one. They should one. be all right, but I use two pounds of meat. Uh, yeah, you need two packs then. I don't think we've got two of the same is the problem. Yeah, they should be buried in there somewhere. That's one thing. I really need to get our spice cabinet straightened up. It is an absolute disaster. I told you they'd be two up there. Why do we got 8,000 packs of ranch? Uh, you're the one that always buys the ranch, man. I mean, we have like... I've told you every time we went, we got ranch. It's, yeah, that's, we have a lot of ranch. Alright, bring me wild. the little measuring cup. Oh, I think we should use that water. Go grab a bottle of water. Yes, our water just come on like two days ago and we're still, we're washing with it. But when it comes to anything that we drink or anything like that, we're not using it right now. We're going to wait a while before we get into getting to where we even try to cook with that water. We'll still stick with the bottle for a while. I think that'll be the better option considering that it was off for like, what, 16 days? Yeah. We went 16 days without water. Yeah, 16 <laughs> days. About day seven, you know, I really actually got used to it. We had a shower bag outside and we was collecting spring water and that's how we would shower. It was an interesting ordeal. Yeah, we'll show them in the next vlog. Yeah, I got clips of everything. Like I said, we just didn't, you know, don't know if we want to use the footage or not because it's like literally all over the place. It was a, it was kind of one of them things if you'd have been on Facebook and you would have understood, but you know, I just didn't take a lot of time to really film or video. I was busy. I was trying to help people. I just kind of went full on honed in focus. But something else uh, me and Donnie talked about before I left, all of our local festivals, Awesome Days, Mountain Heritage Festival, of course, Neon Days, Neon is destroyed. They will, I don't, I don't even know if they'll come back. It's sad. Jenkins Days is canceled. So we're thinking about, okay, well, we'll do it ourselves. He's talked about getting a hold of a carnival, uh, music, motocross riding, maybe mud bogging. We're targeting the date of our Mountain Heritage Festival, which is the last weekend in September. We've got a little time to work on a few things and maybe get something going. But he is going to have a race this Saturday coming. I'll find out the actual time schedule. I'll let you know that community came together. They had that place cleaned up and looking good. I mean, like that. It didn't take no time. And it was a disaster zone when we first started. It's like it's meant to be, and I seen all them kids running around, and they was excited. It's just a little sense of normality for them. You know, it's what they know, it's what they enjoy, they love it. I see these kids in Donnie's uh, motorcycle shop constantly. They live for this, and they, they want it back. Are you two having issues over here? Why don't you go watch a cartoon? What kind of noodles is that? I think it's called Orzo. Orzo? I think. Let me guess, you're hungry. <laughs> you want some of that? It's Parmesan crusted potatoes. I seen it on TikTok earlier and I was like, I can do that. That looks good. It, it tastes alright when I taste it. We've really not been to the stores since the flood. No, we didn't. So know. we really gotta go to stock back up. We're low on absolutely everything. We have to meal plan. Yeah. Well, we, here's what's crazy. Before this flood happened, we, we made this big meal plan. We was gonna do cooking videos and all this. And then we went to the store Wednesday. We woke up and Thursday morning was a disaster. Is that good? You like it, Bubba? Yay! Yay, you do? All right. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Yeah, see what happened? See, you try to take on the old dad and see what happened. You just fall down. Hey, 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 hey. What did we do? <laughs> oh, my 
Alright, go. Line it up, line it up. Ready, ready, ready. See, they're already racing. Go! Go! <laughs> okay, go. Line it up. Hi, Gigi. Help. What do you mean, help? Oh, you, oh, you can't have that. You done popped the hole in I need a haircut. Are you okay? You gonna make it? <laughs> Wild man. Wild season. What? <laughs> Be careful. No, no. Not gonna happen. Oh, we say no, 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 no. What are you doing back there, dude? I, well, I was gonna talk a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> I got the wild army around me. You got this, Cece? You got this? Wee! Are you having fun? Y'all there. 40 shades of wild right now. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm just, oh goodness, I'm not all right. That was so close to oh, being a very bad situation. Well, I guess they're gonna have to play this out for a minute. Whoa! <laughs> oh, the other day I was playing the game of catching them jump off the couch. Colton jumped and he head butted me right here in my eye. So I was checking on him, he kinda was like, ow, I was checking on him, and then I look, and then Miss Chloe belly flops and bounces off the floor. She thought I was gonna catch her, and I didn't even see her about to jump. Are you hyped up or what? Goodness, all right, I'm gonna play this energy out of him. everybody so I was sitting here thinking how am I gonna start this out I don't want to be all doom and gloom that's just we can't stay in that mindset you know if you want to move forward we have hope but you guys this was a devastating flood eastern Kentucky got hit so hard I don't know how many of you guys have actually seen it I, you know I know some of it was on the news uh, there's quite a few YouTube videos and stuff but we got hit really hard. Like the town of Neon, it's in our county, just a different city. It's like 15 miles away. It completely wiped out all of downtown, every store. I think they said the fire department survived. I think they did lose some stuff, but like the entire town was, it got wiped out. And so many people have lost everything, everything they had. Homes, cars, everything in their homes. The school I went to all of my life was underwater up to the roof. Um, our kids was supposed to have started school back like two weeks ago, and now there's not really a set date in sight for them, and that's the same for a lot of the kids that go to different schools in our county and other counties. It's crazy. Within a matter of an hour or two, it was like a lake had just busted wide open on eastern Kentucky and I, I mean literally one of the guys I went to school with him and his wife lost everything but he said you know I went outside went back in the house and by the time I had time to think water was rushing up in the house very devastating and very sad we ourselves were um, six days with no power and 16 days with no water and no internet here or at the shop the driveway got washed out at the shop. Um, we're having the girl that works for us, she's having to park up the road and walk down. We have trees down everywhere. I think we showed you that. But our carport, the wheelbarrow was under my car. The water was an inch from our vents. So we're, we got very lucky. Moving on past that, the reason we haven't been really vlogging through this, like I said, is because no power, no internet, no water. Trying to get through them daily struggles, um, especially with two kids, was interesting, but we made it. Now it's time to not stay in this spot. You know what I mean? We can't stay in this spot of doom and gloom. You know, the first week and a half, me and Sean were out every day 
trying to help people in our community, trying to go up in these hollers where their roads were completely gone and they couldn't get out and take them groceries and diapers for their kids and water. With a lot of the donations you guys sent, we have saved every receipt, the front pocket of my purse. I'm sure Walmart probably hated us. You know, we're in a small town. All we really have is Walmart. <laughs> So we were having to go there. We got a couple dollar stores, but none of them were really open. Um, our only family dollar got destroyed. So we were having to go in Walmart, you know, to get all the supplies we could. And of course, Food City for the groceries and coolers and ice. And But Walmart for the box fans and dehumidifiers. And we got a bunch of... Um, dog foods and cat foods and took up to one of the donation centers because, you know, animals got displaced in this too. That first week and a half, we were just kind of zoned out, trying to do what we could and help how we could. So now our community is at the point, cleanup is starting to happen. People are finally getting their homes, um, you know, the sheetrock tore out, the floors, the insulation, trying to save and salvage what they can of their homes. And rather than stay in these constant doom and glooms, because it is still very heartbreaking. You know, we do, we still have a lot of people on their property living in tents right now. Continue to be hopeful and continue to try to help our community as much as we can. And the, the spirits in our community, we got to try to keep that up as much as possible. That is so important. So if you guys don't mind, just continue to pray for Eastern Kentucky and the people here and uh, pray that more help comes and resources and that we can start to build back soon and get our kids stabilized again. And, you know, we all just went through COVID and the lockdowns and now this, I mean, they've barely had six months of normalcy. I wanted to show you guys how we took a shower. You don't ever think this stuff is gonna happen to you. I think a lot of us walk around with that mindset. Oh, it don't, we don't get floods like that in Kentucky ever, you guys. And it happened like that out of the blue overnight. But I wanted to show you guys a few essential things that we had. We bought um, a camping kit because we were going to try to sit up in the backyard this summer and let the kids camp. But obviously it rained all summer long, so that didn't happen. But in our camping kit, we had this and it was a lifesaver. A shower bag I'm not sure how many gallons this thing is I mean that's a good size bag but you just fill it up with water and there you go that turns your shower head on and off what we done is we took these five gallon buckets we took those five gallon buckets and the natural spring down the holler here um, the neighbor fixed it with a pipe running out and it was clear water but i think we were on day three i mean nobody in the county had water <laughs> so there was no going anywhere to shower and stuff you know so day three we were like i can't i touched on us that i can't take this anymore no power no water you know itchy sweaty the kids we have the creek but it was still running absolutely pure just muddy water but i told him i was like i don't care i'm gonna i got to bath like this has got to happen and he said well let me just go down there to the spring and get some of that water and we'll try that and that's how we showered the first couple of days i mean i shaved my legs sitting right here on the edge of the deck that's how we done it i bathed the kids under the shower bag i took and cleaned their little pool out put them a little bit of the spring water in that bathed them and then rinsed them off with the um, other, with the shower bag. Like I said, not something you ever think, we all have that mindset, I think that it's never, it could never happen to us. You never know when at Mother Nature is gonna clamp down on you. Well, the battery died on me. But anywho, we're gonna end this vlog here. You guys let us know in the comments if you want us to drive around and show you, you know, some of our cities in our county and show you some of the progress. We didn't know if you guys would wanna see that. If you guys are interested, leave a comment below and say yes. We would like to see the before, after, and the progress being made. Vlogs are back. But anyways, we love you guys. Stay positive. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. We'll see you on the next one.